Hi, everybody. I'm Derek Mazzoni. This is KEXP. I do a show called Wopop. It's on every Tuesday, 7 to 10 p.m. I play music from all over the world. I am stoked beyond belief right now because one of my favorite artists out of Istanbul is in the studios here right now. Your mind is going to be blown. It is so, so good. She's got a great band and you're going to really enjoy Gaia Su Akio.
You're listening to KXP, Seattle, where music of the world matters. Atın gurbet ellere Düştüm böyle hallere Atın gurbet ellere Düştüm böyle hallere Bıraktın ya da ellere Böyle olur mu? Böyle olur mu? Bıraktın ya da ellere Böyle olur mu? Böyle olur mu? Gözlerim ağda oldu Dereler çağda oldu Gözlerim ağda oldu Gelmeden yar oldu Böyle olur mu? Böyle olur mu? Gelmeden yar oldu Böyle olur mu? Böyle
You're watching KXP's YouTube channel and your mind is being blown right now by the amazing music of Gaia Su Akio. Yes.
Gaius Akiel. Boom. On Wopop on KEXP. Thank you. Thank you. You happy with that? Mm, yeah, pretty good indeed. It sounds awesome. Thank you. How's life? Oh, yeah, it's tiring. We are super tired because of the United States uh, debut tour. Mm -hmm. uh, we just came back from uh, Los Angeles. So, yeah, we are super excited to be here, but still, we are okay. very tired. How Hopefully, the people love the shows. Yeah. How was the show in L.A.? Good. Do you count on, like, a significant Turkish population to show up and German population? Or how are people... Who's coming to your shows? Actually, it's mixed up, right? Two different, too many different cultures, people all around the world. And the beautiful part is this, I think, like... I cannot signify that, yeah, this is from there and that's from there. Okay. There's a lot of attention. People are really happy to see you, which, mm -hmm. and the band sounds fabulous. If you, um, just so that people understand, can you tell me what was the first song about? Yeah, Vurgunu Omo It's It's like when you are in love with something or someone, mm -hmm. uh, even waiting for it is like, okay. So this song is like, I'm deeply in love, but it's okay to wait. I can translate like that. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, so kind of like Bob Marley's Waiting in Vain. You're, this oh, is your yeah. Version. I've never uh, told like that, but yes, okay. uh, absolutely. So uh, even waiting is okay when you want something very bad. And it's like the... Mm, 
izafiyet neydi? O neydi ya? Yeah, I couldn't remember the English name of it, but you know Einstein's uh, <laughs> relativity. Yeah. Relativity. Okay. Relativity, yeah. yeah. It's like waiting is like one second when you want something deeply. Okay. Yeah. Um, your songs are a lot of deep subjects. You don't just go into like you know I love you, you love me, we broke my heart. What inspires you to uh, to write your songs? Hmm. It differs. I, I cannot say just one thing, but the first thing maybe is like to uh, play with life in a better and more enjoyable way because it's sometimes so hard to be alive, as you guys can feel. So, uh, we live in Seattle. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like. Try yeah. Istanbul once, my friend. Yeah. And Istanbul and Seattle is like sisters or brothers or best buddies in okay. a way, like the melancholy and everything. So, yeah, I feel like uh, music is the one which um, makes my life more enjoyable in mm -hmm. a way because it's so hard to fight against things. So I, I create my own counter reality, kind of. It's like the, you know... It, The fantasies become real when you consistently uh, feel inside of it. So my music is my universe and I just try to feel more um, alive, more um, okay with life. So this is the thing that inspires me, I think. Okay. Just creating my own universe. Uh, it's, you're doing great work. There's two new songs uh, that you just presented us, both on an EP that's coming. Yeah. In 23, the first one is, and my Turkish is marginal, Bule Ular Mu. What's that about? Böyle Olur Mu is a very old Turkish song, a folk song actually. Mm -hmm. And when Sub Pop uh, just sent us a mail about their beautiful singles club uh, thing, I was working on it. So I thought, oh, okay, these two guys can be good together with, you know, uh, Shocking Blues and Nirvana's. Uh, song Love Buzz so I thought yeah these are a great match kind of and Böyle Olur Mu is a deep very deep uh, kind of love song um, but it also talks about you know again missing someone badly okay yeah it's about the distance actually yeah okay that's that's the true distance yeah. the distance between them okay yeah. Guys, it's romantics. Um, you come from Turkey. You're living in Istanbul right now. Yeah, Turkey is a complicated place. It's in um, obviously it's an ancient country. You're in a brand new country. You know you have you have uh, restaurants that are older than this country. Um, curious, what you thought about America before you came here, and what might be the surprise wow. that came? Do you want honesty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Please. It's just the thing that I was, uh, you know, dreaming of. Like everything I thought became real when I just had chance to look at in its eyes. So, like, America is a big uh, kind of studio. <laughs> like, uh, you know, what what can I say? Film studio. Yeah, films, kind of a film studio, I felt like. Maybe because it looks like everything is in its way. Mm -hmm. But I can feel like it's. I, I have to uh, pay more attention. I have to just... Spend more time. Yeah, spend more time yeah. to see the realities. But when you look from a perspective, from a distance, you see everything is almost perfect. <laughs> so this makes me a little like, okay, there is a bug here. So it's like film studio. You got your own lunatics here, but yeah, yeah, not like a major uh, atmosphere. Uh, I think. Tension. But I don't know. It's like by the way, this it's is how we used to live. Uh, I mean, there, there are lots of modes. There are lots of different, um, you know, styles. Like when you go to San Francisco, everything is different from Seattle, of course. But it's really different. So. I feel like you guys are living in a big, good thing, but it's up to where you look at from. Okay. It's a big country. Um, and San Francisco and Seattle are too close together. Go to New Orleans or Miami and you see, you think you're in a different place. Yeah. We are talking to your guitarist. And so slowly, if you could, can you introduce the band? 
Okay. So Gurkham Karabudak, he is uh, he is like a multi instrumentist guy. You can never see like he's the superhero kind of. So he plays everything at once at the same time. Uh, <laughs> he's insane. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. Thanks for he, being here. He plays bass, guitar, keyboards, vocals, blah, blah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, he's a great guy. And Berke John, he's also a great drum player. He's a super talented guy. He plays in different uh, projects. He's into not just music, but into contemporary art. So, yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. You. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Yeah. By the way, the weird thing is that our uh, previous drummer couldn't get a visa from Europe, from America, just because he's too young and seems like he is, he doesn't have a <laughs> job or anything. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, Berke just flew like a superhero too and helped us. He just made a very quick rehearsal, blah, blah. Now he's here. There you go. Yeah. So Ali Güçlü Şimşek. Yeah. This is a little different for me than the rest because he's also uh, my husband-in-law, <laughs> partner, <laughs> partner, uh, my best friend, whatever. So yeah, uh, he's a great guitar player, by the way. And he had a tour in UK with his band Lalala. So he ran here for this tour also. Mm, a lovely guitarist, songwriter, and a great guy. All right. All right. Thanks for being here. Welcome it's to me. KXP. Thank you. Um, I've read your bio and a couple of pieces about you, and uh, it seems that our um, lamented, long-lost son, Kurt Cobain, played a role in your development. Um, grunge is an interesting thing here. Like, people still come to Seattle expecting grunge. That was a long, long time ago. Um, but it's still, you know, important. It still comes up. So landing in Seattle and being here for a little bit, what do you think about the city? What do you think about being here? A very close friend of mine just sent a message uh, as soon as I just landed in Seattle and she said, how did you find it? Did you like it? And my reply was, hey, whatever it is, I'm in love with it because uh -huh. this is like, you know, it gave me so much thing when I was a child, when I was like mm -hmm. eight or nine years old, I first discovered, you know, Nirvana. And thanks to that, I just... The, the doors of rock and roll just opened for me after that moment. So, yeah, Seattle is the root of it. So I couldn't have time to see more, but I feel like I'm so gratitude. I've got a gratitude over here, uh, to, towards here. So, mm, yeah, we should thank this beautiful place for bringing so much uh, rock and roll into uh, the world's rock scene, uh, whatever it turns out to be, it's 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 the memory. Ah, uh, and yeah, he reminded something very beautiful. Uh, as soon as we just landed in Seattle, we were in the uh, you know um, stairs and. Nirvana was playing from the radio in the airport and I immediately sent a story about wow, these guys are so respectful to the thing that uh, they just, they are happy about. So this is cool. I think this is impossible in kind of Turkey if you are a rebellious person, for example, and you make music, you make whatever you like. If you are against their ideas, it's so impossible. Uh, at least now, to make them like proud or whatever it is. Okay. So it was so beautiful. It was so romantic. It was so mm, great for me okay. to hear it. But you come from a country that has a really rich rock tradition also. And it was interesting because nerds like myself knew about it for a long time, like you know, Erkin Kore and others. But it's come back in this really intriguing way, there's a resurgence of interest in Anatolian rock and it goes deep and through that Turkish folk music. I love to see that because it's an opportunity to explore your roots. So it's not like you're coming out, it's like, I'm the Istanbul Nirvana. We already have Nirvana, we don't need a version of that. But we're curious, 
the depth of the work that you guys go into and looking at these artists and seeing that there's so many now coming back. We had a few through here. Is it because streaming and people have discovered this music or is it because to such a big Turkish expat population? So you're in Germany, you're in Holland, United States. And so you're, you're creating that thing that immigrants create when there's a hodgepodge of stuff coming into them. Um, I think none of them. Of course, these are some elements, but the first thing is, I think, uh, Turkish rock music, especially Anatolian rock, or you can call it Turkish psychedelic, it's so powerful. It's really, it has so many roots with rock and roll, but also it has a political uh, background. Um, it's delightful. It's so... Um, connected with other genres. So when you look at Turkish rock, especially from 60s and 70s, you can find so many great bands and names that produced super cool uh, songs, albums, and it, it was a genre actually by itself. So I think it's it's so important because it's not just music. It's a philosophy. Mm -hmm. It has got so much... Uh, connections as I mentioned with politics you can just read whatever happened in Turkey and in the world at that period by just listening to that music so that means this is not just music but this is like the uh, you know the the thing that uh, examines what happens around and puts that into their art um, you know in 80s Actually, in 1980, there was a very, um, I mean, the worst coup ever yeah. of uh, Turkey's history. So after that, it's like a knife cutting the, uh, you know, history. And after that moment, all these music and musicians had to flew away from Turkey and had to cut whatever they do. So it's so important from that point of view, too, because, you know... Um, this was so precious, but had to finish because of a coup, a military coup. So, yeah, um, it's it's so powerful, yet it's so, um, you know, great to hear, to make it. And by the way, I can say whatever we do, it's, it's not like the, you know, uh, something that we carry from, but I really want to make my music connect with future so it's not like a romantic melancholic um, traditional thing but I really want to make new composings new sounds, new songs it's not just Turkish psychedelic but it's also really into other genres that mm -hmm. I've been inspired by so I think it's so important when we come to uh, a, a band that makes, for example, Turkish psychedelia. I really need to hear new songs, new ideas, new philosophy from them to be able to take this great genre and bring it to another dimension. So, yeah. Okay, that's beautiful. Thank you. Going back to my initial question, Turkey is a complicated place right now, politically, culturally. 1980 was the coup. There was a big transition. It's an ancient country. There's a pressure between conservative and progressive elements, the expat population. Um, where, How are you being received right now? How is this transition being received right now? Not so much politically, but just culturally in, in the city. It's a giant city. Obviously, there's, there's so much going on. But how are you being received right now? This is a hard question, and the answer is so complicated, too. Um, yeah, the answer is when you ask the people, of course, but from my point of view, uh, I love people being in two uh, ways, like liking or hating. So this is a sign of feeling good, like, okay, I make something uh, which people cannot resist on telling their own feelings about whatever you make. So... Um, Turkey is a very big country. Istanbul is super big, super complicated, uh, and it's multicultural, too much different cultures at the same time. So I don't expect everybody to love it, understand it, or make a bond with it. But I prefer to put a historical uh, pin 
while living that guys, friends, I'm seeing, I'm feeling, I'm touching, and I can see all these inequalities, all these ugly things, all these beautiful things, and this is my point of view, and I'm going to tell from my eyes. So that's the thing that I'm doing. I don't really care about... Um, by the way, that's not easy to come to that point, of course. Years and years it took, but I don't feel like people should... I mean, everybody should like whatever you do, but instead of that, keep on whatever you do, enjoy it, and be real. That's okay. all. Perfect. Gaius so Akil, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Beautiful work. Cheers. This is KEXP 90.3. I'm Derek Mazzoni. Thanks for being here. Thanks to our amazing video crew, audio crew, photographers, and everybody that makes this happen. We're a radio station, also kxp.org. Please support us. We're a nonprofit arts organization, and we rely on that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Bye. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.